Master Certified Ascension Coach, and you can find me on TwinFlamesHeartsDesire.com, where I offer readings and coaching for you. So why is positive thinking alone not effective at healing your Twin Flame Union? Maybe you're experiencing separation from your Twin Flame, maybe they're with someone else, uh, maybe they're getting married to someone else, maybe they treat you as a friend, right? Maybe you don't have any communication at all with them. No matter what, positive thinking is not going to get you your harmonious twin flame union. They're not gonna, it's not gonna change anything. It's not bad, but it's not going to move you forward on your twin flame journey. So I hear a lot of people saying, like, oh, I'm just, you know, having faith and hope and I'm waiting and I'm, you know, trying to stay positive, but that doesn't work. Why? Your twin flame union follows a different set of relationship rules to other relationships. It's not going to be the way that other relationships are because it's different. Why? How does this work? So you and your twin flame share one overarching consciousness. You share the same soul blueprint outside of space and time. You were created essentially with the same soul blueprint. Now you're not identical. You're not carbon copies. You share one soul blueprint, you make the same core choices, but you're complementary. And so when you choose, your twin flame chooses as one with you. So why doesn't positive thinking work? Well, if your twin flame is doing something on the outside, remember you, you are one at the core, like two wings of a bird. And if they're choosing someone else, it's because you're choosing someone else other than yourself, right? It's a mirror. How do you access this mirror? How do you find the place where you're doing that within? you got to feel your feelings. And you might say to yourself, well, I don't want to feel that feeling. That feels bad. Yeah, it does. But it doesn't mean that it's not there if you choose to ignore or avoid your feelings by what we call spiritual bypassing, trying to stay positive when you've got this feeling underneath that wants to be felt, that wants love, really, that wants your attention and your love, when you ignore yourself there, you're going to find your twin flame ignoring you. They're going to mirror you. So you've got to feel your feelings. And for some of you, that can feel really scary. That can feel like, um, oh, I don't want to feel that because I'm going to get lost there. And then, then I have all these destructive thoughts and etc. etc. Well, that is what we are here for. This is why we have Ascension Coaches. That's, this is why we have Twin Flame Ascension School. And it's because you do need support to move through these challenging feelings. And you need someone who understands the Twin Flame dynamic. Because you can you can process your feelings um, in other places that it's very healthy to do, right? That going to therapy is healthy. But most therapists don't understand the Twin Flame dynamic and don't understand that this person is just reflecting you. And that when you change your tune about yourself within yourself, your twin flame reflects that. When you know at the core that you deserve love and that you've visited these places that are hurt and brought all of your attention and awareness into these places that are hurt, that is when your twin flame chooses as one with you and starts paying attention to you. You can't game the system. You can't think your way through the mirror exercise. You've got to feel your feelings. You cannot spiritually bypass on the twin flame journey. So that said, the next piece is that a lot of you are like, well, I, I did a mirror exercise and I, you know, I, I, I felt a feeling. I felt it. I felt it. Where, why aren't they, why aren't they here? Right? You're like, where, where are they? Where are they? Well, it's because this is a process. It's, layer by layer by layer. Remember, they're reflecting a part of you that is a pattern of you not loving yourself in that particular place in your heart. Maybe over here you love yourself, but right here you're not. This is a long-standing pattern that has developed over years, your, your entire lifetime up to now, or even if you believe this, past lives, right? Like This is a pattern from your past life that is carried over to this life. And you can't... Um, 
have like uh, the arrogance to think that you could resolve it with one mirror exercise. But while you're doing the mirror exercise, in that particular layer, you can heal all of that layer. You, you will heal. You will come to a state of feeling relief. You'll feel, ah, I feel better here. The mirror exercise is four steps. The first step of the mirror exercise is to identify your upset. What are you upset about? In order to identify what you're upset about, you have to acknowledge that you're upset. And to acknowledge that you're upset, you must feel your feelings. You must go to that place that feels bad. So there are three other steps of the mirror exercise. I just kind of shared with you step one. To go all four steps, I can help you with that. So if you're interested in learning how to work the mirror exercise, how to go deeper, and, and how to bring it into your life as a practice, because that's what you'll need to do, then book me for an introductory session I'm available at twinflamesheartsdesire.com and you can spend 30, 30 minutes with me and I'll show you every step of the mirror exercise and guide you to feeling peace within your heart. That is how you build your harmonious Twin Flame Union and it does work. That alongside Twin Flame Ascension School is guaranteeing you results. So stop just resting in positive thinking and not getting anywhere because that doesn't feel good. Feel your feelings and get support. Love you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.